All right, guys. My name is Ben Carey. I'm going to be reacting to Warzone by Stand Atlantic. Stand Atlantic is one of my favorite bands of all time. I listened to like the first 20 seconds. This is one of my favorite bands. My band, Census, had a chance to tour with them uh, in the summer of 2020. It was so much fucking fun. Super cool guys. They make awesome music, uh, guys and gals, I should say. But um, yeah, so I was just checking this song out on my couch. I was like 20 seconds in. And like my jaw was literally like, I was just, I was like, oh my God, this is so sick, which that's a typical reaction for me with Stan Atlantic. Um, but I don't know. I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know, I've never made a reaction video before. I love watching them, but I feel like so often people like, I just feel like I can tell people are overdoing it for the views or, or the engagement or whatever, which makes sense. But like when people are just watching, they're like, oh. Oh my god, holy shit. But this is a band for real that makes me do that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to try to just be in the moment, take this song in and give you a genuine reaction. But enough talk. Let's uh, check out Warzone by Stan Atlantic and then uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. So fucking good, holy shit. This riff rules. If you a bad bitch, show me what you made of. Wash your mouth out, making daddy proud now. If you a bad bitch, show me what you made of. Show me what you made of, making daddy proud now. Think you're high risk, wanna wear a chain in. Make a black bright dying in the basement. It goes so hard, dude, it bangs. Bonnie's lyrics too, like her lyric choice is so cool. This shit just hits, bro. I love the heavier shit they've been doing too. Dude, this hook is crazy. Oh, we got the lyrics up here too. I didn't even notice. This, this part's like straight up bad omens. To my face, bitch! Like they're in the war zone. Okay, so I want to hear that ending actually. What it, wait, what they say at the end there? Sounds like <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Jono at the end. Holy shit, bro. That was fucking awesome, dude. I'm gonna I'm for sure about to send that to my band and be like, yo, check this shit out. But oh my god, like <clears throat> I love like I said, I love this heavier sound that they're kind of experimenting with. Um, I was a huge fan. Oh, I should have put a pop filter on here. I'm just now realizing. Hey, my first, my first reaction. Should I put one on now? I'll go ahead. I'll put one on now. We're learning, guys. We're learning. New streamer check! Um, I love this heavier sound that Stan Atlantic is experimenting with. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of theirs. I remember, like, it, I was, like, very, very deep deep, deep, deep in my love for Stan Atlantic when they released their album, Pink Elephant. I remember the night that it came out, and I laid in bed, and I put my earphones in, and I listened 
I had the volume all the way up and I just listened all the way through the first album and I was blown away. I was like, this is a band that's so catchy, but also innovative. And like, I love like alt rock, like metal, pop punk stuff like that. And they are just always kind of doing something new, but around that kind of, um, that genre and that kind of framework or whatever. Um, I, I think fear, fear, fuck everything and run, I think is my favorite Stan Atlantic album, but This track made me think of the track Cabin Fever a little bit. But to me, this song, Warzone, and even some of their other newer stuff like Killer, uh, just some of the, like, I don't know. I can tell that they're experimenting with that heavy sound. But to me, like, Warzone sounds like an even more put together version of, like, Cabin Fever. Because Cabin Fever sort of, like, experimented with heavier sounds and stuff too, while still having some of the electronic and pop elements and stuff. But this one, like, especially like in that fucking breakdown, dude, let's, I I gotta go back and listen to that breakdown real quick. Okay. Yeah. If I had one critique for this song, if I had, if I were to try and conjure up one critique for this song, it would just be, I feel like the build up section just before the breakdown was a little bit unnecessary. I think they could have probably just gone straight into that and it would have hit super hard. But it hits hard regardless, and that riff is so fucking sick. Like, but yeah, that's what I wanted to touch on though. Is like when I was watching it, it reminded me of like just bad omens. I don't know how else to word this, but Stan Atlantic has a little bit of an edge to them, and that's also what I mean when I talk about like Bonnie's lyrics and stuff. Like, what's the fucking hook in this one? It's so dope. It reminds me of Switchblade, this little thing that she does. Like Bitch, I'm like a cyclone entering the war zone. Bitch, I'm like a cyclone entering the war zone. Bow, bow. That, say it to my fucking face. Like, that shit's so hard. Like, I I feel like she just, she shits out lyrics like that. Like, it's just nothing to her. And it kind of, I'm jealous of, I'm jealous of that ability. But I don't know what it is, dude. But, like, Bonnie's one-liners just hit so fucking hard. And they always have, like, just this perfect, like, amount of edge to them. But, yeah, this, this... Bitch, I'm in the cyclone, entering the war zone. Like, that totally reminds me of, like, the the same kind of style thing that they do in uh, Switchblade, where it's like, miss me with your Switchblade. Like, I, I don't fucking know what it is about that that's so good. But, yeah. Okay, so, super sick. Um, I'm going to go back and I think I'm going to just listen to these lyrics, or pay more attention to these lyrics, see if I have any thoughts on that. But, overall, really solid song, just like I knew it would be. <laughs> oh, dude. The first riff hits so good. It's crazy. I love just the, the groove of it. I love the, the little electronic panning back and forth thing they do leading up to that. It hits perfectly. If you a bad bitch, show me what you made of. That is so good, dude. That's the perfect... That's what pisses me off, bro. It's the perfect way to start a song. It's the perfect way to start a song. And I'm just... If you a bad... And then the next line... Wash your mouth out, making daddy proud now. <laughs> God damn. It's like, I don't fucking know. I really wonder how like how much she has to sit down and kind of engineer these one-liners. Or if, it, that's how I, dude, I fucking, I'm obsessed with it, literally. It's like, I talk about how she's got one-liners, but it's literally like every line, every, even in the verses, every line is like a fucking one-liner from, from Bonnie, and I just love it. Say it to my face. Oh yeah, I actually didn't clock that before. In the in the chorus, like the main hook, they add like a melody underneath. Like a cyclone and in the war zone. That's actually really cool too. I love this ring footage of them too. It's so just so I don't know. Dying in the basement. It's shit like that, bro. Dying in the basement. <laughs> Also, I think there's for sure something to be said about the fact that, like, I was singing along to this song before it finished. That just, like, you know, I don't know. I think that's good. That's good perspective or early, you know, as a as a listener, you don't often think about why you love a song. But this this one's just so catchy and it's a little bit repetitive in the chorus, but it's like it's exactly what it needs. It's more of like a chant. And it's like it made me feel involved immediately. And I think that's what it's kind of lending itself to anyway. Like, that's probably what they meant for it to do. I feel like so often 
and and especially because I I think I've been in in plenty of toxic type of relationships before, like romantic relationships. I think it's always kind of the go to, especially in this genre of music, to kind of be like, oh, this kind of sounds like it's about a toxic relationship. Maybe it's not necessarily necessarily a relationship, but that's that is the vibes this is giving me. Kind of like with my band song "Ruin My Life." It's like she says, "What does she say?" Uh, I know you're high risk, but I still want to want to entertain it. I think you're high risk, want to entertain it. It's like, this might fuck me up, but I don't know, I'm still drawn to it anyway. It's like, I know this person's toxic, I know this is this situation or whatever's bad for me, but I keep coming back, like whatever it is. And yeah, it could also be like, I think that's probably how the how the chorus ties into, like she's she's a cyclone, dude. She's Everything's fucking up around her. It's like, and yeah, that's what a cyclone is too. It draws you in, so it's like, Maybe she's maybe maybe Bonnie feels like she's part of the problem. I've definitely um, uh, dealt with thoughts and feelings like that before, where it's like everything around you is crazy, and and you know when gaslighting and things like that come into play too, it's so much harder to to really feel beside yourself, you know, and be like I can trust my own thoughts and feelings, and I'm not the problem, and like. Uh, and and to just trust your intuition and your feelings about things, and it's like I think I'm the fucking cyclone. I'm I'm entering this war zone. I'm bringing everyone down with me. Like everyone I come into contact with, shit's about to get fucked up. So I don't know for sure. That's what it makes me think of. But regardless, like the edge of the lyrics, the edge of like the the riffiness of it, the grooviness, the heaviness, the catchiness of it. I think it's. It's another 10 out of 10 track from Stan Atlantic for me. I'm going to have this on repeat, I know for sure. So great job on the track, guys. Um, and um, yeah, that's it. This is my first reaction video. I sing for the band Census. Um, you can find all of our news uh, and tour dates and merch drops and stuff like that at thebandcensus.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.